hi you guys welcome back to my youtube channel so oh my god this is really hard so today i'm helping you with summer wardrobe essentials these are pretty much all the things that i have been wearing since summer started here in dubai and i've literally been living in pretty much what i'm wearing right now high-waisted jeans a crop top a shirt and you'll see that in what i'm gonna show you right away there is about 20 pieces of clothing that i have selected and from experience i've learned that these are enough you could wear them in the day you could wear them at night you can dress them up down fun casual whatever it is that you're looking for accessories makeup a bag would really just do the trick it's very very hot here so i know that wearing a lot of layers or a lot of clothing is impossible now i feel like i'm rambling so i'm just gonna begin okay so the first thing that's really important and you must have seen me talk about this is to have these little crop tops i have one i'm wearing right now in black so i would use these to layer like you would see in exhibit abc i wear this all the time with the bigger shirt shorter shirt whatever it is but this is something i'm using pretty much every day so i would recommend that you get these uh, they're super easy to style and so comfortable. Another thing I would say is everybody needs a bodysuit. What a nice bodysuit does is, like I, I would suggest to get a plain black one if you need to get one, is because you can really layer, wear it with a nice pair of fitted jeans, wear heels, carry a nice bag, and you're pretty ready to go out. So, or if you wanna wear it to work, then you just wear it with loose linen pants, a bodysuit, and also then you're good for the day. So it's a pretty versatile piece so i would really say to get one then this one i love sunflowers i love crop tops i love balloon sleeves so this one is the perfect top for me i bought this a while ago from forever 21 and i am very guilty of shopping at forever 21 so this looks really nice paired with flary white pants or high-waisted blue jeans or a little skirt depending on what you're in the mood for I have styled it like you see in this picture with white jeans yellow shoes and then a very simple uncomplicated colored top it's a t-shirt so I'd again wear it with something like this just tucked in if you want to dress it down then white sneakers if you want to dress it up then heels maybe you could add like a little bandana or a headband or a cap a t-shirt's pretty versatile so definitely something to look into then I have these two shirts very similar to what I am wearing so you can see I'm obsessed <laughs> I have maybe five but they're all different like this one's a crop but like oversized this one has this beautiful button detail so this looks really nice formal like just tucked in also it could be worn with a uh, on top of a swimsuit so as a cover-up this one on the other hand is linen I got this tailored from my husband's store. I love how this fits. It's more than my size. Obviously, when you're getting something tailor-made, it, it has a better fit. Mostly though, I'd be wearing it how I am wearing it today. If not, if I'm in the mood for like very loose, then I'd just button this up. Or I would just knot this here and so, and button this so, and not wear razor back. So this is another way to style a white shirt. Okay, on to the next. So I would say that five seriously good tops are probably gonna last you all summer. I've been literally just wearing this. I just keep changing my bottoms, I change how I style it, but it's pretty much been constant. Next is this really cute cotton dress. I would suggest to get one oversized cotton dress. For me, these really help when I'm running errands. Or even if I'm just going to lunch to see my friends, get a coffee. I find that just flats, a nice cotton dress, hair tied back with some fun jewelry really just does the trick so speaking about dresses i think they're kind of perfect like i said already i really don't like wearing too many layers or anything that makes me feel hot and stuffy so dresses are perfect plus if you wear them with heels you dress them up if you wear them flats you dress them down you can literally wear the same stuff to dinners and to lunches and that's what i have been doing or to work even one black and one white really just makes you go a really long time all right so my first favorite is this long layered black dress uh it's by this indian designer oh damn lost the name i'm gonna try and link this in the description so this used to be a light pink last summer and then it got so dirty and i got bleach marks and my dry cleaner ruined it so i just decided to dye it black 
and now it looks like a completely different dress. I have worn this dress at least 10 times in like two years. So I do definitely think it's a great investment, a cotton one. I used to wear it casually earlier. I've worn it with a jacket. I've worn it with a lot of jewelry. I've worn it. So when it was pink, I wore it so many ways. Now that I dyed it black, I've worn it so many more ways again. So I think this one is perfect. I think the layers add to a lot of like, a lot of charm and it fits well and it's strappy. It's just perfect for summer. Next is this long full layered white dress. These open up and you can have them here like they sit like this so you tie the bow. I have also worn this so, so many times. Never really goes out of fashion for me. I've had this for a couple of years. Every summer it comes back out. I wear it, I style it differently. I would mostly wear this in the day but it's great if I want to wear it to work, if I want to wear it to lunch, out with my friends. Even when I'm traveling, actually, I've worn this quite a few times. I find that it just looks so beautiful and elegant. And so definitely invest in a nice, good quality white dress. This one is by Team by Rita Atala. Last is a printed dress. It really depends on your choice of color, style, if you're looking for something long or if you don't want sleeves, but none of mine have sleeves, so I prefer to have one with sleeves. This one's from Zadig and Voltaire. It's from their new collection. So beautiful. I love the little ruffle detail. And again, so, so nice to wear to anything, really. All right, so next up is denim skirts. I have one in black, one in white. Again, just basic. It's basic, it's easy. You can wear them with Birkenstocks. That's how I would like to wear them. Um, with like a long shirt and a crop top or you just wear it with a crop top. It's great for a beach day. I like this one in white though. It's got a really beautiful detail. So it's a little bit different from your very standard white skirts. So I think having one basic and one something with like really pretty accents is also nice to have. Then have some shorts. I have one pair of really casual shorts that I would just wear again if I'm running errands or if I'm going to the beach or if I'm just bumming around at home. So I have these, they're so cute. And then I have these which are a little more formal. These are kind of old though to be honest. You can see they're really huge. <laughs> but I really love the gold button detail on them. So I would pair this again with a white tank top or a white shirt with some white heels and then wear it out at night. Cute. Finally, we reached the bottoms. These are linen pants that I have literally been living in. This is all I wear. I wear these almost every day or I come back home, wear them or I wear them to work, wherever it is, but mostly to work. I find them so comfortable. Usually my work days are 12 hour long, so I need something extremely comfortable. So I actually bought these white ones and I, because I really loved how they fit on me, I got them made in this gray. Yeah, I just have a bunch of linen pants that I can do everything in. I love them and they fit so well and they look so good. So they don't actually look like, I had some linen pants earlier that would just like get wrinkled really fast and then start looking very shabby and that's not okay so these it's got um it's got this thick strap here and it's got like this hook detail it makes it look more formal so a nice thing to wear to work on to accessories this one's my favorite i love it it's from mango i don't know if you're really into hats if you're not i wouldn't really suggest uh, getting one but this was kind of inexpensive also really beautiful I realized I own a lot of black so with black or white it looks perfect you must have seen these in some of my pictures it's so cute so you could wear it like this or you could tie it right here oops and then just have it as an accessory and don't really wear it so if you're wearing something super simple just put this on around your neck and just leave and it adds such a nice touch to something simple another favorite of mine is this bag oh my god can we talk about how beautiful it is it's by villa yasmin i'm not actually sure of the brand it's i will put it in the link below so a really good friend of mine owns villa yasmin and she brings a lot of these really cool handmade brands and some just amazing brands to dubai and then does pop-ups so i recently picked this one up a really cool bag I got on sale was this one from Mango. I've been wanting a white bag, but I don't know why I haven't found the perfect one until I don't find that. I just thought I'd use one of these. However, it's turned out to be so cute. I've been wearing it so much lately. I just like this woven thing. I like the little strap. It's got a long strap inside, so I could wear it as a crossbody or, you know, just 
this here. It's got this vintage um, old vibe to it. Cute. Moving on to some other accessories. I am, oh, I've only been wearing two of these sunglasses. One, these are so old, but I recently bought them because I wanted a big pair of black sunglasses, are from Celine. So those black ones from Celine are my new summer favorites. And these from Kenzo are also really cool. I love them. So these are more modern and trending and interesting. Those are more classic. Yeah, great, love them. Uh, second last thing on the list of things is accessories. Cannot even like explain to you the importance of jewelry. Like you see, I'm permanently, if you see me on Instagram, uh, I'm always wearing a lot of jewelry. It's my favorite. I think even when you're wearing super basic clothes, if you just add on a bunch of things, it adds so much glam and so much excitement to your outfit. It also, people really, I think it speaks volumes about your personality, the pieces that you pick. And it's a conversation starter. It also tells people that you care about the details. So definitely wear what you wear as standard. This is something you should always just have, you know, some key pieces that you never take off then you add and delete. If you're not really into accessories so much, I would say just keep a couple of gold things. Just have different kinds of really stunning hoops in different shapes and sizes. So depending on what I'm wearing, I would just wear that. Then I always have two to three necklaces on. And then if I'm feeling extra, I'm just gonna add this like beautiful gold chain on it, which I really love. And then maybe add a choker, wear some bracelets, Sometimes five, sometimes one, depending, and a couple of rings. Finally, shoes. Okay, I've tried to narrow this down to four shoes. Honestly, I've not been wearing much, and I'm finding it really hard to wear sneakers in this heat. I don't know what's up, why I can't wear anything close, but I'm really struggling this summer. So I would have otherwise put in a pair of white sneakers, and I think that that's just easy to wear with anything should you feel like you need to wear sneakers. I'm not, it's not happening with me right now. So I'm not, but what I am wearing a lot are these, these brown uh, gladiator sandals that I got from Greece. I've stocked up on those. They run out for me in a year. Then if somebody's traveling to Greece, I'll tell them to get these for me. You get them at the street. They're so comfortable and so beautiful and match everything. So that's something I always keep with me. Then these strappy sandals as well. They've got a nice little heel. It's just perfect for my section of heels or if I am wearing a nice dress and I just wanna wear a mini heel to work, that one works for me perfect. These guys, super, super cute when you're wearing high-waisted jeans, a white shirt. I think for like today's outfit, would have been cute if I was wearing some color here. Uh, they look amazing and for summer I love this fringy detail. This is from Palma Canaria. I hope I'm saying that right. So those are super cute too. Finally, a pair of nice strappy black sandals. As minimal as possible. Keep it super, super sleek so that it's nice for summer instead of the very um, over covered leather or thick strappy vibe. So any sort of, I think, thin strappy sandals just do the trick. Okay, I think we're pretty much done. I hope you enjoyed this one. But thank you so much for watching. Thank you for the support. I am here to answer any questions that you may have. I really hope that this has helped you um, to sort of build or understand your summer wardrobe a bit better. If you did like it, please like and subscribe. A lot of my pieces are old. But if there is anything that I could link in the description below where you could go shop them, I'll put them in as well. Let me know what you'd like to see next and thank you so much for watching.